let's talk about activation energy. I want you to visualize this as a huge boulder, some, some huge rock, many, many layers deep, okay? And what you want is inside of here, okay? Sometimes we don't even know what this is. So the initial challenge could even be figuring out what the heck is inside here, okay? What, what is my heart's desire? What is the life that I actually want? 80% of the energy could be just figuring out what's locked inside, okay? Now, activation energy can come from a lot of different places. It can come from emotions that are big and ones that are small. So it can come from what you don't want, okay? A, a repellent. The repellent can show you, oh, this is not the life that I want, right? And so that feeling of heaviness is the misalignment of like, well, it's not this, okay? It's certainly not this, all right? This can also make you feel lost because you're like, well, if it's not this, then what is it? What is it? Again, you're banging your head. This is you. <laughs> you're banging your head against this thing. But don't also be scared if the information comes from unexpected sources. If you're like weirdly jealous of someone, it's because whatever they have is, is striking a chord. There's, there's something resonant here. This is a clue. This is a clue, okay? Anger, frustration, also a clue. So you have to approach yourself like a science experiment. You can't be like, oh my God, I'm so angry. What's wrong with me? I'm broken, okay? You have to be like, oh, I'm feeling so much anger right now. This is interesting. This is interesting because it must mean that what's inside here is really powerful because an equal and opposite reaction, right? Why am I feeling so much? Why am I feeling so much? It's because you must really want it, okay? Doesn't always have to come from a negative source, though. It can also come from a download, a vision. It can also come from just small baby steps that you take every day. Every day you come here with a little hammer and a little chisel, and you get a little closer to knowing what you want and then going after it. It can also come from excavating, excavating the past, and being like, what are the ideas that I've had from absolutely forever ago that won't go away? 